You probably know that flames can be colored. When heated in a flame, different metals turn the flame different colors. Scientists use this technique to detect the presence of metals in a sample. Backyard scientists use this technique to explode things. Join me today as I teach you how to make colored fire from household materials and the cool things to do with them. The first thing you'll need is an appropriate fuel and methanol is a perfect choice for that. Now it's important to use methanol because the color that you're trying to create will come out vivid and not washed out by the orange. Now let's go outside and I'll show you how to mix up these chemicals to create the colors. Lithium from batteries burns red, calcium chloride and damperid burns orange, sodium in table salt burns yellow, boric acid in roach killer burns green, methanol burns blue all by itself, and salt substitute burns purple. Let's start with red, lithium. You'll need this brand of battery. Use a small pipe cutter to cut the battery open. Inside this battery there's a roll of lithium foil. Unroll the lithium and add it to the methanol. This creates a compound called lithium methoxide and it turns the flame a deep red color. Next is orange, easy from here. Calcium compounds burned with an orange flame. A convenient source of calcium is found inside damp red. Just add a few spoonfuls of calcium chloride to the bottle of methanol and you have orange fire. Yellow is also easy, simple table salt. Just add a couple teaspoons to the methanol and you'll have a brilliant yellow flame. Green flames are my favorite. You need to pick up a bottle of boric acid, sold as roach killer. Despite the name, it's very safe. Just add two teaspoons to a bottle for an amazing green fire. Blue is the easiest. Methanol burns blue all by itself. No need to do anything, just pour it right out of the bottle. Our final color is purple and you'll need salt substitute, which contains potassium chloride. Just mix in a few teaspoons and you'll get a beautiful lilac flame. Now that we've got all these cool colored flames, I thought it'd be a good idea to make a flamethrower out of them. That was my idea! Well, we waited until sunset and headed out with our flamethrowers. Regardless of whose idea it is, it's a bad idea to give a backyard scientist a flamethrower. He might just set his GoPro on fire. Next, I created a device that allows me to shoot six different pillars of colored fire. At the end of each tube is an upside down water bottle that holds a different color. I can pump it up with a bike pump to 50 psi and remotely activate it with an electronic sprinkler valve. Now let's wait until nighttime to try it. Alright, one, two, three. Well, I got a little bit of fire in my hair there on that last shot, but that won't stop me from making awesome videos, so go ahead and subscribe for more. Also, check out my Facebook page in the description. When heated in a flame, the flint...